I was born ready. It's like I, I came out of the womb ready to do this. There's a lot of cool stuff that happens on my phone and no one gets to see it. Hi, I'm Alex Boren, I'm with 17 and today we're playing Read Receipts. I would usually say red. Red would be the, the proper uh, way I would say it. it, it it'll switch up. I feel like usually people are pretty standoffish about that, but I'm kind of excited. The last time I lied, I don't know. Let's, I, I don't know when the last time I lied, so let's skip and let's do some fun dares. Um, it's actually funny. My last text uh, is to my girlfriend and it says, I'm still hungover from that night quill. Ha ha, I'm groggy. And she goes, you took night quill? <laughs> I'll show you. It's like 10 minutes ago. I have a really bad sleep schedule. So um, I just, I'll take night quill or Benadryl or melatonin, whatever works. And you know, I'll get probably four to five hours of sleep. But when I wake up, it's, I don't drink or smoke. So when I wake up, it's like my hungoverness is that. The weirdest thing about me, it's very subjective. If you know me, there's a lot of weird things about me. I come off as a pretty crazy person, but my ideal night or ideal week would be laying on the couch, not getting up and hanging out with my dogs. And I feel like it's weird because if you see me on social media, it seems like such a crazy time and we're all messing around, but truthfully, my happy place is my sweet spot on the couch where my butt is imprinted to the couch. And you know, it's really hard to get up. You don't want it. The last time I cried was when we watched, we watched the scene from the Netflix show. The scene where we did visit my dad's grave. And like, I cry every time I watch that episode. So if I'm feeling like I need to just get some tears out, I'll just turn on the show and press episode seven. Let's skip that one. <laughs> the last, uh, last playlist I made was Songs I Like by Alex Warren. And it's pretty much got um, James Arthur, Louis Capaldi, Shawn Mendes, and um, a bunch of people who make sad music. That's it's my, my jam. I like to listen to music at like 4 a.m. and contemplate life. Wow, okay. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, obviously I'm in love now with this amazing girl that I've been dating for three years. It's difficult to say because for me as a kid, it's easy to think you're in love. And my last, I've been dating Cobra for three years, so my last relationship when I was like 16, 17. And so I think honestly, I might've been in love like twice, three times, but that's very subjective to me, where it's like, you know, some people will be like, oh, it's not love, you're in fifth grade. And I'm like, well, she played handball with me. So, oh, I have a, I have a lot of fears. I'm scared of everything. I'm scared of being alone. I'm scared of uh, elevators. Elevators freak me out. Like I'm scared of like, us getting trapped. And then I'm also scared of heights. I'm scared of confrontation. Like there's confrontations a lot. Like I, I'll I'll walk away. Like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be confrontational. Is Abby Gospel, which is so funny. I went to a private school with Abby. I, it was from like third grade to seventh grade. So I've known her for a while, but I haven't talked to her in forever. Hi, Abby. By the way, <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> Oh, my weight. Wow, yeah, my biggest insecurity is my weight for sure. Or like how I come off. I'm scared of like what people think of me, for sure. Which is so funny because in this job you're not really supposed to care because believe it or not, not everyone's gonna like you. But I think where it comes down to is like, it comes into the fear of like being alone is I have such a tight knit group around me and there's a very specific amount of people I hang out with and the fear of them talking behind my back or the, the fear of like them like saying stuff, which I don't think they do. But if they do, like I'm coming for you. I know, I know who you are. I'll skip, because I don't remember my last mistake. Ooh, that I was not expecting. Uh, it's a new song, and it, there's nothing there. <laughs> I, I was trying to write a song, um, and I was in a writing session, and uh, for three hours, we cannot write anything, so this is what I got. Anyone who's looking forward to my next DP or uh, my next song, this is what you got to work with, guys. It's a, it's a new piece. It's a sad piece. It's kind of contemporary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My problem is if I say it, no one will believe me. <laughs> Everyone's gonna look at me and be like, nah. <laughs> Honestly, it's probably, I just got an Oculus. So like, it's probably something with that. Oh, this is cool. So I was, I was, I've been, me and Cora have been watching this TV show called Are You The One? And I watch you like Netflix shows or, you know, prime video shows or whatever you want to call them, reality shows. And I always like to keep up with them and like see exactly like, when you watch those dating shows and they get paired together by a perfect match, you kind of want to see like, huh, is this bull or are they actually together still? And so I pretty much just Googled every single person on that show. And then also taking that quill for sleep, what you should know. I listen to the Frozen soundtrack a lot. I wouldn't say that's embarrassing, but some people might see it embarrassing, but Something about like Olaf, like that song with Olaf. Oh, but Let It Go is just such a classic. I know how to play it on guitar, so it makes me happy. Like, 
first, like my very first one was probably, it's so mainstream, but it was probably Margot Robbie. Oh gosh. She texted me. She passed away two mo a few months ago, but the last text she sent me was happy birthday, congrats on 21. And I said, thanks mom, I love you. And then I didn't realize it at the time, but she had passed away and I was in Europe and I sent her this photo. And I said, I'm in Rome right now. I thought you'd love this. So that was the last text I sent her. I don't know. I don't know what people think of me. That's like one of my biggest fears, right? I think my biggest misconception about me, if there was one, because I have no idea what people think of me. A lot of people think I'm mean, which is strange. Cause it's like, I'm scared of people. So <laughs> I have no idea how I could be mean. I'm probably the last person to be mean because I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, a cat. My looks, what's not to like? It's, it's, I don't know. I, I think honestly, it's like, you know, I heard Louis Capaldi say this one time, but it's a feast for the eyes. And I, I think it's a lot of feasting for you guys and you look full. Wow, we we're really going into this. This was no, there was no like pre warm up, like kind of like tease. This is good, you guys. We're really, we're making headlines here. My top, oh God. <laughs> it is a, a guy I'm doing a brand deal with. Okay, all right, let's do this. He says, hit me up today when we're live, my guy. We're talking about um, me posting a brand deal. His name's Ben. Um, we're just gonna send him uh, three blind kisses. One, two, three. All right, sent. Look, it's pretty much a, Good afternoon, checking back. Let me know what day works best for you. It's so professional. And then there's just, what day would you prefer? <laughs> and then he tells me, and I didn't respond. And then he goes, hit me up today. So I hit him up with a few kisses to let him know I'm doing it. I'm doing the brand deal. It's happening with love. And uh, if you guys want to go watch the show, go watch the show. It's on Netflix. And uh, listen to my music if you're in the mood to cry. Wait, 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 one more thing. Something that no one knows about me is I have a cavity. and I need to go get it fixed. Am I going to get it fixed? I don't know. I don't have a dentist. I should get a dentist.